Dengue has been reported from the capital city where Delhi, in fact, has reported over 900 cases this year till September end and 300 more cases reported in the first five days of October, taking the tally to over 1,000. Delhi government has put all the hospitals across the national capital on alert, with Deputy Chief Minister saying that all the city hospitals have been asked to reserve 10 to 15 percent beds for patients of vector-borne diseases. Doctors are saying that hospitalizations have increased in the last one month. So what is the situation on ground? My colleague Ella gets us this ground report. Talking about uh, Lok Naik Hospital only, so, uh, have you seen that there is an increase in number of patients? Uh, definitely we have seen this surge and the number of cases over the last one week have actually doubled. And right now in the Lok Naik Hospital we have 15 patients of dengue admitted. Out of 15, eights are adult and seven are children. And uh, two patients are critical, uh, which requires a platelet transfusion. One patient also have the low blood pressure, that is uh, dengue shock syndrome patient is there. And uh, we uh, do see a lot of patient in the OPD as well, because uh, it's uh, uh, the uh, October and November uh, period. Uh, we have a lot of rains and a lot of water stagnation is there and this is a, uh, where the mosquito breeds and a lot of larvae is there. So uh, we have the more dengue cases. Talking about uh, platelets transfer, sir, like uh, the kind of availability in the hospitals, has it been affected? Uh, no, uh, right now we have the stock of uh, 400 units of platelets and we are giving uh, to all dengue patients without any uh, donation means we have the enough stock the symptoms and precautions of the dengue what do you have uh, this is a very important question because one must understand how to differentiate dengue fever from other type of fever so if you have a dengue fever whether in the adult or in the children uh, you have the history of uh, high grade fever 102 to 104 degree fever lasts for three to five days then you have the uh, fall in the platelets so fever with headache, with backache, with muscle pain, and you have the reddish spots all over the body. Kude sab jage par hai, stagnant water sab jage par hai, fumigation hi haa par bhoat kam hoti hai, MCD walo ko likhe, phir bhi kuch nahi hoti hai, humare society mein bhi likhte hai, sab kuch likhte hai, magar bhoat kam hota hai, meri dwar hai kya, कोई ना कोई गवर्नमेंट से आए बात करे देखे एंड इट वाज टेरिबल एंड द इफेक्ट्स टुक सो लॉन्ग माय हस्बैंड गॉट वी आर ऑल वेरी सीनियर सीनियर सिटिजेंस आई हैव गॉट टू ग्रैंडचिल्ड्रन इन द हाउस दे फॉल सिक दे हैव ब्रीथिंग प्रॉब्लम दे हैव कॉफ दे हैव कोल्ड्स ऑल द टाइम बिकॉज़ ऑफ ऑल दिस मक लाइंग अराउंड आई आल्सो लिव नेक्स्ट टू अ डलाव लाइक दिस वे वी हैव एनिमल्स ऑल डे लॉन्ग एंड काउ मक इज देयर Mosquitoes are there, cats are there. And stagnant fresh water. That's also there. Water stagnation, lot of new construction is going on. Obviously when the construction is going on, when the rain happens, water accumulation is there. Specifically around the new constructed houses or under construction houses, dengue cases have been reported. I've got uh, grandchildren. We are uh, having using rackets also. Then mosquito net on the bed. You know, Machadani is called. We are using that also, and plus they are not going to the park nowadays to take precaution of the dengue and chikungunya and all that. Well, that's all we could pack in for you at this hour. News and updates continue on the other side to stay with us.